guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am your favorite girl a marie ceo of amb lavish Whew. as y'all could tell by the title this is about to be an year and a half update on my small business as well as it's about to be very very emotional if you would like to know my one year and a half business update then just keep watching if you haven't been following me along in my journey of my small business then i will have the playlist listed up here and you guys could go all the way from the beginning up till now i would love for you guys to hit the like button as well as subscribe to my channel it doesn't cost you anything to become a part of the diamonds and gems as well as turn your post notification on and then set it to all so you won't miss another upload um whew, the process of my business so for starters i decided to start my business when i lost my job due to c19 I've always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom and I always spoke it like I cannot wait to try staying at home. I cannot wait to just like be away from a job for a little while. I wanted to try the stay-at-home mom thing for some years now and they always say watch what you say because God always listens and i was a little scared like what the world what is happening <clears throat> not only because of the things that were going on in the world but now i'm unemployed so i was like okay at first it took me on a a, a very big roller coaster and then we started getting like these stimulus checks and this big unemployment payments and stuff like that so i was like you know what let me just go ahead and start my business since that's a way to get income is to start my business and to be honest with you guys i did not i did not i did not do too much research i did not i didn't brainstorm too long i rushed into my business like the name a and b lavish came from a marie beauty lavish but i don't think that was a wise choice for my business name i rushed it in the beginning i was just buying a whole bunch of stuff i created my logo myself and it was just like a colorful logo and i'm the type of girl if you guys don't know i'm the type of woman that not only am I lesbian, but I love the rainbow. So a lot of, a lot to do with my brand was rainbow related. And I thought that would just like, let everybody see that, you know, this is me, this is who I am. My slogan, building confidence in a unique way was really me, like just me. Wrong choice. That was the wrong choice my business name was the wrong choice a logo was the wrong choice and i rushed right into it i came up with the business and like two months later i launched and that was on june 1st 2020. the first month went really good and it was okay but i thought i was gonna make a lot of money but i didn't do it the right way I didn't advertise, I didn't promote, I didn't do none of that. So it really didn't work out like I thought it would be. Now granted, I can say within like the first year of me being in business, I only, I only made $2,000. But the problem was is I kept buying more and I, since nobody was buying the stuff that I started out with, I was like, okay, let's buy this, okay, let's buy this. And I just kept buying and buying and buying and buying and just throwing it up on my website, throwing it up on my website. Now, when it comes to the website, it took me forever to figure out how to do the website. I sat there and watched Bougie Barbie on YouTube. She had a, 
I mean in depth video on how to build your website on Wix. I use Wix. So I just went off of her and I just made my website. And I thought my website was me. I thought it was cool. I thought it was fun. I thought it showed everything. And lo and behold, one of my good friends told me, hey, look, after some time, not just right off the bat, after some time, one of my very good friends was like, hey, look, let's change your website and let's make it into something more professional. And at first I took it offensive, but then after thinking about it, I was like, maybe I need to make it a little more professional because I'm not getting hits with all the hard work I put into it. So I accepted it. I got on the website and I kind of rechanged a little bit of the website that was the template that was purchased. So once I got that template and changed everything up, like to line up with my products and stuff, I just knew for sure it would be more traffic to my website and to me. That didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen. My first Black Friday came, it didn't do well. My first Cyber Monday, it didn't do well. I came out with a CEO birthday collection, it didn't do well. I'm going to say maybe every two to four months, I would get one order here, or one order there. And it was becoming really, really depressing. And like, I felt like a failure. It seems like everything I know I'm good at, that I put my hands on, that I put my time into, the things that I know in my heart that I'm really good at, you guys, it, it, it has yet to succeed. Like... So imagine you knowing how to do so many different things and you know you're good at it, but you don't succeed. Hence to why I'm doing this year and a half update. I completely failed at my business. And to be honest, even though I rushed it, I was so proud of myself for even doing it. I tried paid promotion. I even created a PR team of people that I personally trust. And this year and a half update for the people that was on my PR list, don't take any of this like it was your fault because you guys did everything y'all were supposed to do to help my business thrive. And I appreciate it every single one of y'all if any of y'all are watching it it was me i rushed into my business so fast that packaging was all over the place the logos never stayed the same the logos was different everything just went ape shit for no reason like ape shit crazy for no reason like i love makeup i love lashes i love beauty like i wanted everything about a marie beauty to be that and because I never sat down and thought about it, because I never sat down and brainstormed, because I never sat down and actually did the research, it backfired on me. So I did try everything that I could and that I was learning along the way as I was in business. And I know you're going to learn things as you go, but y'all, I fucked up horribly. This year, I said I was going to push harder. I was going to do the paid promotion. I was going to do the ads. I was going to do all this. And I have been doing it. Not only do I have to pay for my website each month, not only do I have to pay for the subscriptions I use for my website each month, not only have I paid so many people on Instagram, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, like I've done it all. It just didn't work. I had a Black Friday sale and a Cyber Monday sale. And I was going to have a birthday sale, but the birthday sale, I'm not, I'm not doing it. We are in December right now. Me currently filming this is December 5th. 
my birthday is December 21st. I'm not doing a birthday sale. Black Friday, I did not get one sale. Cyber Monday, I think I got three. That tore me up that I didn't make not one sale. I did a ad and everything for it. And I paid so much for that ad that I never got one sale. I never got that ad money back. As of right now, I'm doing a blowout sale. I woke up this morning, December 5th. I woke up this morning. Now, before I say that, I've been constantly talking to people about my business. I've been constantly discussing my business to people, people that I trust, of course. But I'm just so fed up and so drained and so frustrated with myself. And everybody kept saying, like, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Y'all don't, people don't understand. It's easier said than done for one. But for two, the products that I make do expire. I woke up this morning and for some reason I woke up with, a very heavy heart I didn't say anything to anybody I got on my website I marked every single thing on my website down I sent out a, a marketing email letting all <clears throat> letting all of my email listers know that we're closing and we're having a blowout sale plus an extra 20% when you use the coupon code. I said I was going to rebrand, change my name, rebrand, make sure every single thing matches up. But honestly, you guys, I don't even know when that rebrand will happen. I don't have a date. It may not even be this year. It may not be next year. And I can't stomach the thought of buying or making anything else without anything selling. If you guys would like to catch the blowout sale, go ahead and head over to amblavish.com. That I know my products is good. I know my clothing, the clothing, the jewelry, the, the body butters, the lashes, the lip gloss, everything that I sell on my website is great. Didn't mean for it to sound so depressing and down, but you guys, I can only be real about the situation and this is the realest I could get. I just know that when I rebrand, it has to be better, bigger and better. Hi YouTube, just so that y'all know my mom made my YouTube channel. It was her old account. I hope y'all got a better understanding in this video, I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. Don't forget to like, dislike, comment, subscribe, click the notification. We are still continuing things on YouTube. Just maybe the business, the entrepreneur side of the vlogs and videos and stuff like that is done with, but we still are going to be here so i'll catch y'all in the next one deuces